Hey, Jack. How are you? Nice seeing you. Let's see you. Sonia, we got a long night ahead of us. That kid's got everything. Guts, punch, and look. Are you kidding? I could lick the guy he's fighting if I had arthritis. Hey, Mr. Richardson. Hello. Where you been? I haven't seen you around in a long time. Mm, just clearing the fresh New Jersey air out of my nose. You going back in a fight game? No. What do you think of this kid, Cal? He's all right. I caught him a couple of three times. He's got the stuff. Who's the foxy grandpa? That's Pop Richardson. Go on! Go on, kill him. Get in there. Come on, come on, easy, finish him off. Easy, finish him off. You're using up all your strength. What's the matter? Can't you stand a little blood? Only in his shoulder pad. Think he's so cute, huh? I'll take you back to meet him. I got entry. No, he's just a kid. You want to meet him, yes or no? Sure. Come on. Good fight tonight. I'll give you another spot in two weeks. Oh, hello, Mr. Richardson. Oh, hello, Ash. I've been looking for you. Say, this boy, Kelly. Anyone handle him? No, he hasn't got a manager. Hi, Callum. Here's the dame wants to meet the new champ. Hi. What's the matter? His nose out of joint? <laughs> Don't you get it? He's a dummy. He can't hear. He can't talk. Champ yet? Oh. <laughs> this guy don't know how to pull his punches. Come on, let's get out of here. You still got two minutes to go. Aren't you gonna finish the round? You wanna hustle yourself another sucker? I'll go play with your scratch sheet. Big deal. Creep. I'd have probably wound up paying for the drinks and wrestling him off the sofa. What's the matter? You want to fight me too? Hmm? No. Well, what are you doing tonight? Would you like to take me out? That's it? Okay, get your panties on. Hey, what's going on? Who are you? I'm his brother. Well, don't look so sorry about it. Champ and I have a date. Maybe we'll go dancing. 
Maybe yep. I'll show him a good time. But I'll see you don't break training. Hurry up. Well, here we are, my townhouse. Did you like dancing with me? You know, you did pretty good. I still can't figure out how you do it. Vibrations, huh? Hey, that's not getting your money's worth. I bet you don't even know how to kiss a girl. Market paid in full. What? Oh, when will I see you again? The next time you fight, win, have money to spend. your way home, huh? You finally made the grade with a girl. Look at the lipstick. How'd you do it, Romeo? Did you whisper sweet nothings in her ear? Hmm? <laughs> or did you talk with your hands, huh? <laughs> Why, you cut it out! can't hold down a decent job because sooner or later he's got to slug somebody. Fight, that's all he can do is fight. Oh, sure, sure. So finally he fights for money. And what does he do? He blows it on a dame. I bet he hasn't got a dime left. You do understand, Paul. This contract's for seven years. I get the usual manager's cut. One third of your purse. Get it? One third. One third for what? I'm signing up the next welterweight champ. Jack Richardson. You had a boy killed in the ring. Jackie Lern, middleweight champ. A good boy. I've been out of circulation ever since. <laughs> Feeding chickens in New Jersey. Did you say something about him being champ? Mm -hmm. With the right help, maybe. Got timing, concentration. Naturally aggressive. But he needs training. Lots of it. He needs the right matches. He needs a manager. Does he know what he's signing? I've been trying to explain. The fine print, too? You're a friend of his, Miss... Uh... Bartow. Sonia Bartow. I don't blame you for being cautious, Miss Bardo. A boy like Paul could be easily sucked into a wrong deal. Mm -hmm. But uh, you ask anybody around here about me. I will. And I'll read the contract for Paul. Fine. But remember, this contract is just a piece of paper. Any time a fighter and I can't agree, we tear it up. That's the way I work. 
I'll read this for you, okay? And we'll get in touch with you. Fine. Hi, Miss Bardo. Goodbye. How about it, Murph? You think Paul should sign? There's no one finer than Jack Richardson. About Laren? Could have happened to anybody. It just about broke Richardson all up when Jackie died, like it was his own boy. Everybody calls him Pop. Button up, Chance. Take good care of yourself. <laughs> the boy. fight him every week, and I'm not going to overmatch the boy. Okay. Okay, Pop, I know. Paul's like a son to you. Okay. But you didn't think he was ready for Mendoza, either. Paul did all right tonight. But if you milk him any harder, you'll start growing blood. You just worry about his matches. I'll worry about the blood. Then wipe it off your face. It's showing. Thanks, Jack. Hang on to it. You may need it someday. For your nose. Oh, what a night. You should have heard the nice things people are saying about you. You know something? I'm tired. I don't know why you want to see the place tonight. I just got the furniture in. I just... Sure don't. Okay, but just for a minute. Hmm? Let me get you a drink. Sit down. Try to emphasize.
or surprises? For me? A real diamond. Just like I always promised myself. To me, it looks good. You're very sweet, Paul. Real sweet. I love you too, Paul. Now, don't start that married stuff again. First, you must become champ. Then I'll break down. Bedtime for fighters. not a mark on you. Gosh, you look wonderful. Well, don't I get invited in? Sure, come on in. The party's for Paul. You all know Paul Callis. Hello, Joey. How are you? How are you? you? you, honest. <laughs> I'd better be getting over to Jersey. I haven't seen my missus in three months. Well, after drinking a good schmooze, uh, Paul and I'll drive you over. You'll get there quicker. Hello, Pop. Welcome home. Hello, Paul. Is this what you wanted to schmooze about? You can't pull any wool over Jack's eyes. Sure, Jack. I thought we ought to talk about it. Whitey's offered us 7,500 against 30% of the gate if we fight his boy, right? That's what I said. Whitey knows and you know that I've already turned down the deal. Sure, Jack, only it's not just the money. It's Paul's big chance. If he beats Burns, he gets a crack at Johnny Lugano. After that, there's nothing left but Al Logan and the title. If, if, if he has any heart left after going ten rounds with a dirty operator like Joe Burns. Dirty? The referee gets paid to worry about what goes on in the ring. Burns knows all the angles, Whitey, and you know it. You've taught him. Rabbit punches, kidney punches, fast work in the clinches, elbows, lacing. You'll have my boy bloody in the first round. The answer is no. Well, now, I didn't want to start a family quarrel. If you want to get in touch with me, nowhere. Paul can wait another year for a crack at the title, so can you. He needs more experience before he's ready for a fight of this kind. Turn the record over, Jack. The trouble is you're spooky. You're seeing ghosts. Jackie Laren's ghosts. If a fighter's going to be champ, he's got to take chances. Maybe even a beating. Any manager knows that. Even I know it. If you can't forget Jackie Laren, go back to New Jersey. Go back to your chickens. Paul is not fighting Burns. Not this year. 
Paul is fighting Joe Burns in exactly six weeks. Not while I'm around. Then take a walk. Remember what you said? If a fighter and I can't agree, we tear it up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Paul and I don't disagree. You want me to put it to him, Jack? Right now? You or me? Don't walk out on him, Jack. Not now. He needs you. He doesn't need me, Sonia. Not as long as he's got you. I'll take that walk. Relax. I don't think he'll walk very far. If you ask me, the dummy's gonna be shopping for a new manager. I go on, Ed. No experience needed. You win. Uh -huh. uh, fine. 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. Fine. 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 That will stop a kidney punch. Cliff, lace them. <laughs> Here's a guard against lacing. Keep your head tucked down. Stay in close and be on the watch. Like this. Let me have it. See? All right, Paul. You try it. That's it, Paul. That's it, boy. Glad you're with us, Cliff. You certainly know Burns' style. I ought. I worked out with him enough. He can't fight clean even when he's training. <laughs> All right, finish the round. Boy's quick. He's certainly picking up all the tricks. I hope he remembers them in the clinches. So you changed your mind? No. I could never have let Paul go. Oh, she knew it all along, Jack. The girl's no good, clean through. Maybe she's right about one thing, though. About the ghosts. You and Jackie. Huh? Maybe. That's what I keep asking myself, but. The way he is now is bad enough, but if anything ever happens, like to an eye. Oh, nothing's gonna happen, Jack, nothing. Look at his footwork. Don't worry about him. He'll give that Burns a bad time. Don't you worry. Everybody around here is our manager. Time! Get in the kitchen. What's the matter, miss? Lost? Paul Callan, right? That's him. I'm on my way up to your training camp. My name's Ann Hollis. Doesn't Mr. Callan use the sign language? What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a writer for Panorama Magazine. We'd like to do a story about Mr. Callum. Oh, sure. He'll see you back at camp. Be about half an hour. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Hey, 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 hey! See what I mean? Now, with other fighters, they hear the crowd screaming, yelling for blood, calling them names. Well, of course, when he's in the ring, what he doesn't hear doesn't bother him. There's an angle. Exactly. That's one time Paul's being deaf doesn't hurt him one little bit. I know two or three other fighters who are deaf. They concentrate on the fight, not in the crowd. And that's how it was as far back as I can remember. Training routine. Got to get his rest. Go on in. So naturally, Dad being deaf, my brother and I learned the sign language. That's why they gave me this Paul Callan assignment. You know, I never saw him take anyone so quick before. <laughs> well, I think he senses I'm not self-conscious around him. Besides, I like him. Oh, I'm fond of the boy, too. You know, when he first came, I thought he was stupid or something. But he's real smart. It's just that he only gets, like, the bits and pieces of what people say, you know? <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I 
perfect schooner. Right to the last detail. Oh, and look, the dead eyes actually work. And so does the anchor winch. Oh, I think that's wonderful. I'm a sailor, too. Wait. Nineteen feet. It's mine. Of course I sail it almost every Sunday in Long Island Sound. Would you like to try it? Oh, good. It's a date. Oh, uh, this is Miss Hollis, Panorama Magazine. Uh, Miss Sonia Bartlow. Ma told me. I've just been admiring Paul's chip models. They're very artistic, I always say. Yes, they are. They're beautiful. I hope you got your story, Miss Hollis. <laughs> yes, thank you. Mr. Richardson's been very helpful. I bet Jack could tell you a lot. Miss Bartow, would you mind if I mentioned you in the story? I don't write for the sports section, of course. It, it's a human interest yarn. Oh, sure, go ahead. Uh, I've known Paul right from the beginning. Uh, see, we're going to be married. He wants to wait until he's champ. That's a cute angle, don't you think? You can say I'm an actress. She used to be a hoofer in a girly show. Now she owns a gold mine. She's retired on her dividends. There's a good angle. Jack's quite a talker. Has he told you about the skeleton in his closet? Well, I really must be getting back now. Goodbye, Mr. Callan. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Of course, I'll remember our date. You do know the sign language. Why don't you use it? I never like to sign because people laugh at me and call me Dummy. Oh, yes, I know. They hurt you every time. How about that? He knows the dummy language. Don't use that word. Well, why not? He just did. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, well, it's just that deaf people aren't dumb. They're just as intelligent as the rest of us. Well, with training, they can even learn to talk. Uh, when will we see the story, Anne? They'll have to like it first, Mr. Richardson. Goodbye, Miss Bartell. Goodbye. Goodbye, Paul. Want a cup of coffee before you go? No, thank you anyway, Mr. Richardson. Paul Callan, I told you about him. This is my mother. Oh, he prefers not to sign. He lip reads fairly well. Of course. I'll be right down. This way, Paul.
This was my husband's room. Anne's father. He was an architect. He built all those. Yes, he was deaf, too. Would you like to wait here for Anne while I make some tea? But it was like having Dad back at his desk. Of course you could, Paul. You can do anything. Anything you want. Stay in that corner till I tell you to come out. Keep your eyes open tonight, Ralph. You know Burns' reputation. All I ask for is a clean fight. You hear that, Burns? Clean. Put your needle away, Ralph. You got my boy all wrong. Oh, sure. What's going to keep the dummy from hitting after the bell? I'll come between Case them. of a knockdown, Ralph. I want you to stand where Paul can see you counting. All right, all right. Shake hands, dog. Come on, fighting. I warned you about low punches, and I don't want no more healing, you understand? Why don't you lay off, Ralph? Lay off. Well, keep your blows up.
this, Paul, before he blinds you. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's say ba 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 ba. You should explain to Mr. Callan that almost all these children are totally deaf and that they're learning to lip read and talk. Fine. That was just fine. Do you want to go now? Let's take off your headset. All right. Bye bye. Come on, Judy. Judy, do you want to tell me what the land is? And now, Anne, if you have time, I'd like to show Paul around the rest of the school. Oh, I'm sure we have time, Mrs. Hyatt. All right, shall we go? Would you like to come here and teach them the box? 
you got that I haven't got, except a million bucks. I think a lot about a million bucks. Every morning when I get up, I think about it. You know what my mother used to tell me? Don't sell yourself cheap, Sonia. You'll never hit the jackpot. Dear old mom. <laughs> My bills. I need some money. Madison School for the Deaf. Our motto, eyes that hear. Wonderful what money can do. What do they think of next? Now our Paulie's gonna hear. I've been thinking about you and me. I think we ought to get married now, not wait until your chance. Well, that's what you want, isn't it, Paul? That's what you always wanted. Marry you and me. Don't you understand, Paul? Paul, Paul. Don't you remember, Paul? That's what you always wanted. I can make you so happy. Now, right now, let's not wait. You dummy. Look who's kissing me off, a dummy. Now, I'm not good enough for you. That's a laugh. Now you want her. You know when you'll get her? When you get a new pair of ears, that's when you'll get your precious Anne. Can you hear that, Paul? Anne! 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 New ears! New ears! New ears for the dummy! Here. For Anne. With love!
Nobody wants you. Even I don't want you. Can you hear that? Dummy, dummy, dummy. <laughs> Come on, break it up, will you? Move along there. This, this ain't nothing new to you. Come on, please, move along. Well, I guess I can't lock up the next one away champ. Not after that licking you gave Logano. You know, deaf guys like you gotta be more careful. You almost got yourself killed out there. Get in this cab and go on home now. You better write down your address. Let him know where you wanna go. Uptown E.E.N.T. Clinic, Dr. Lester. Well, go on. It's in New York. You'll find it. I think so. In our opinion, an operation to remove the pressure on the left auditory nerve might restore part or all of his hearing on the left side. I want you to emphasize that this is only a guess, an informed guess, but a guess. He says he doesn't want any more double talk. He just wants to know when you'll <laughs> operate. All right. I'll call Dr. Bilton at the Powell Clinic in Baltimore. Here it is, Ann. Jack will be gone a few weeks. I'm all right. Don't worry, Paul. I don't know what's been eating him. He hasn't taken anything. Maybe one bag. All right, Ann. I'll check with you tomorrow. She's mixed up in it. I'm worried about him. What about that Logan match? You ought to be talking to them. That'll have to wait. But... You remember me, Sonia Bartell? Of course. Where is he? Paul. What do you want? I couldn't sleep. I missed Paul. That's a very poor try. You want to say something else. You never missed Paul. You never gave him anything. You never shared anything with him. You couldn't miss him. I found Paul with dirty fingernails fighting four rounds for 25 bucks. I taught him how to dress, to eat, to stand up on his hind legs. I worked him up till he was ready to be champ. I promised to marry him. Everything was going to be rosy until the little rich girl came along. What do you want with Paul? Haven't you got enough things? Do you have to have a dummy to drag around for laughs, for kicks? This house was built by a dummy. The things in it were acquired by a dummy. The women in it were loved by a dummy. I love Paul. If I didn't know it before, I know it now. I don't know where he is. But when he comes back, I'm going to tell him I love him. When he comes back, he'll come back to me.
Morning, son. How are you doing? Are you hearing better, Paul? Do you hear me? Have you tried to talk? Paul, do you want to try to talk? You do, good. Do you have a girl? Girl, you know. Do you have a girl? What is her name? Name. Anne. That's an easy name to say. Very pretty, too. Try it. Like this. Anne. Anne. Try it. Come on, try. Anne. Try again, Paul. Anne. Listen to me. You're going to learn to talk very soon. You're going to have lessons in speech. Lessons, do you understand? Lessons so that you'll be able to talk quickly. Good boy. I get to kiss her next. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Andy and Helen. Excuse me. Well, I'll kiss you. Tell me how it happened. Where have you been? Uh, huh? I had an operation. There, Claire. Maybe I shouldn't have come. Oh, no, no, Paul. It's all right. It's just Mother's annual shindig for the sailor's home. Oh, it's just all these people. I, I, I could come back some other time. Oh, no, Paul. I want you to stay, please. Oh, Paul, I just can't believe it. And, darling, it's about the benefit concert. The others want to sell drinks, and I say we always lose money on liquor. Come along, darling. You've simply got to help. <laughs> Oh, 
Dr. Gunling. This is Paul Callan. How do you do? How do you do, Doctor? Look after him for a moment, will you please, Doctor? Talk about prize fighting. Anne, you're getting lost again. Paul Callan, the prize fighter. Oh, I've heard all about you. Uh, I thought you were dead. Not anymore. Aren't you due to fight for the title? Yes, sir. Oh, how exciting. How thrilling. A real prize fighter and a psychoanalyst. The two extremes. I've seen you in the ring, Mr. Callan. You seem to enjoy it. Is that why you fight? Uh, I, I don't know. What do you think, Doctor? I think the average American female is probably more aggressive than any prize fighter. <laughs> The boy who kissed the prettiest girl on Long Island. Cheers. Oh, just the man I'm looking for. <laughs> Do you know what my wife said to her analyst the other day? She said, how can you sit there and just listen? You know what he said? Who listens? <laughs> 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 and let's run off tonight and get married. Oh, but Andy, what about your wife and children? They'll understand. <laughs> Not tonight, Andy. I'm sorry. Come on, dear. This time it's about publicity for the concert. You know all about You're that. You're quite right. <laughs> Oh, don't look like that. It, it was empty. I was just coming over to talk to you. And told me. It's so wonderful about your hearing. Mrs. Hollis, I was just telling the maestro uh, that Mr. this... Mr. Howard, this is Mr. Callan. Dr. Laszlo, Mr. Callan. How do you do? I was just telling the maestro here that the benefit concert is a great idea. But the program, uh, Rachmaninoff, Kachachorian, oh, I can't even pronounce the names. I'll be smart to uh, sweeten the program with the little Victor Herbert Strauss. First get the public in, then elevate their taste. <laughs> become of art today in literature. All that's left is sick and morbid. Surrealism, existentialism, cult of death. You know, Jeff, you're a snob. You're looking for art with a capital A. What about all the other vast media of communication? Movie, magazines, radio, television? All we really need is more initiative. Excuse me for a minute, Claire. Art. Oh, Anne, darling, will you settle something for us, please? I suppose Anne there is an artist. Because she works for a slick magazine and writes an article on a deaf and dumb prize fighter. I'm sorry. No, it, it, it was my fault. Well, it doesn't matter. It's a good show. Here's one you missed. <laughs> so cruel. You should have seen the look on his face. It was terrifying for him. Frightening. But he had to learn about the world of words and ideas. Your world, Anne. Right now he's probably wishing he had never been made to hear. Maybe he's even wishing he were dead. But if he's brave, if he's lucky, He'll come out of it. And maybe he'll come back. It won't do any good to go after him, Adam. Because right now, you're what he's running away from. My wife said, the analyst. 
told her she was inhabited. <laughs> An entire new personality. <laughs> it's not that at all. In the I'm entirely in favor of culture. Women who have the greatest organizational power. <laughs> Psychology is not like that. And let's run off and get Write married. Write an article on a deaf and dumb prize fight. Don't be afraid. Oh, you're talking. You're talking. I was just so surprised. It's just so wonderful. Paul, what happened? I'll tell you all about it. It's just so wonderful. You've come back home. Back to Sonia. matter, son? No, it, the noise. It gets worse all the time. And so does your punching. You've lost your timing. You're not concentrating, Paul. I, I can't. I can't. Why don't you call it off, Paul? You're not a fighter anymore. Get in that ring with 20,000 people screaming at you. Logan will kill you. I'm fighting Logan. If you want. I'll get another manager. But why, Paul? It's not just the money. I want to fight. I want to be champ. Or you owe it a dummy Callan. What does that mean? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It just came out. I don't know. J Jack. I want you to stay. I'll stay. Kids got nothing. Paul, move in, move in! Sure. I'll handle the deal for you, Sonia. Say, the odds are going up on Logan since you bought the press. The wise boys are saying... Never mind. Before the odds get any worse, put everything I got on Logan. To win. All right. See you after the fight. Telephone for you, Paul. Who is it? It's Ann again. Tell her to stop calling. Oh, why won't you talk to her, Paul? How's he coming? I'd rather fight Logan tomorrow night myself. Somebody ought to talk him out of it. Don't look at me. I talk to him nowadays, and he's suddenly deaf again. Sometimes I think you heard me better before. 
You staying till tomorrow? This place gives me the creeps. I'll see you in town after he weighs in. Top of the sports news is the welterweight title bout scheduled for tonight. Less than an hour ago, champion Al Logan and contender Paul Callan weighed in at the office of the box. Tell me for Paul Callan. The ceremony okay, was viewed by an unusually it's curious right. crowd of reporters and spectators who wanted to get a glimpse of the contender. Callan has been kept mysteriously under wraps ever since he started training for this Thank bout. You, miss. The rumors which have been flying around can now be confirmed. It is a sensational fact that Callan, known until now as Dummy Callan, was operated on and has regained his hearing. Hello, darling. Hi. Finish weighing in? Mm-hmm. Doctor, find you in good shape? Perfect. Where's Jack? He's downstairs with the reporters. They told me at the desk you had a telegram for me. It was nothing. Where is it? Well, it was nothing. It was just a crank message. What I threw it away. Buying? Nothing. What's the matter with what you? Are you Why? Hiding? Nothing. Come on, get. I, I didn't want to worry you right before the fight. But you're not worried if I go deaf. Oh, don't be a fool. If Richardson finds that, he'll have the fight stopped. Just so long as I fight and lose, so you can collect your bet. Well, what did you want me to do? Look, I want that money. It's mine. I earned it. All that time I spent with you with a dummy. Get out. Okay. I was going to kiss you off anyway, right after the fight. If you're smart, you let Logan finish you off quick so you don't suffer too much. Cover up your good ear, Paul. I'm going to slam the door. Hard. by the State Athletic Commission, I want a good, clean fight. In case of a knockdown, the standing fighter will go to the farthest neutral corner and stay there until I tell him, come on, fighting. Keep all your punches in fair territory. A low blow may cost you a round. Shake hands now and come on, fighting at the bell, and good luck to both of you.
not the same fighter since he got his hearing done. Try to forget the noise, Paul. You're the better fighter. You've got to forget the noise and go out and take him. The guy must be holding off. I can't figure it out. Finish him off in the next couple of rounds. Don't get too cocky now.
Okay, fella. Did you see the kill? Did you ever see the like? Right off the floor he comes. One, two, Bob. <laughs> you know? Logan figured he had you all set up to put you away. Then you started throwing everything you had at him. What snaps you out of it? I said, what snaps you out of it all of a sudden? You still groggy, Paul? You, you better stand where I can see you talking, Jack. If you want answers. It's my own fault, Jack. The doctor warned me I'd be taking a chance. Then why? I was scared. I I I felt like I I, I didn't know anything. I guess sometimes people get so scared they'd rather die. I know, Paul. That's the way I felt when Jackie. I guess I felt that way for a long time. Excuse me, pardon me, please. Sorry, lady. Manager's orders. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm the manager's manager. And if you don't let me through, I'm going to talk to the commissioner about you, and you'll be pounding a beat out she said bay, see? Now, uh, just a minute. Well, get him! That's Ma, Paul. If, uh, if Ann's there, you tell her. Hey, Pa, tell her who's on the show, will you? Everything went quiet again. It all came clear to me. You don't have to be deaf to be frightened. Look at Pop, Sonia. Maybe even you. I know, I know. I, I heard. Paul, you do see. You're no different from the rest of us. Different? I don't feel different. I feel good. I feel as good as anyone. I feel good enough to tell you I love you. Oh. 